Hey, what's up everybody? What up? What's up? What is up? I'll be playing Grandia 2, part 2. This is part of the HD collection. Recently released on PlayStation 4 and 5 and also on Xbox consoles. And uh, I'm gonna play today in Japanese with the Japanese dub. I thought for some reason that it wasn't included in the in this remaster on part one. I did mention during the stream that it wasn't. And I just uploaded I, that very same stream on my second channel on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, you, you can change, you can use the Japanese dub apparently. So let's confirm that right now. Let's load the game. Checking saved games. There we go. Yeah, I like the voice acting in English. The English dub in this game is much better than in the first one. I want to check out the Japanese dub. Just to see how it sounds. Yeah. I think we fought some battles here last time. I don't think the enemies respond. Oh, we're locked with an enemy. Hey, Jay. Thanks for joining, man. Let's listen to uh, the voice acting, the, the Japanese dub. I've never heard a Japanese dub before of Grandia 2. <laughs> okay, pretty decent. How about Mileni? Oh, I need to select like, like an attack or something. Oh wow, she sounds so childish. She sounds kind of childish, you know. I don't know. Huh? Um, okay, we're gonna have to hear some more dialogue or something. But uh, Ryu is fine. He sounds fine in Japanese. But Millennia, she sounds like like a twelve-year-old. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like it. Oh come on! You can finish the snake off. Seriously. Hey, Yum Yum. You can't hear me? There we go. Wow, don't you love it when she leans like that, huh? <laughs> but, um, yeah, seriously, I'm not sure about the voice actress. Level up! Okay, you can hear me? That's, that's great. So, um... Oh, fortunately you can't change it in the menu. You need to save it and then exit the title. Let's stick to Japanese just for a bit. I don't think I'll be able to get used to Millennia sounding like a 12 year old. There was nothing here? It's just, it was just a dead end? Well, we got some experience at least. It's a bit of a puzzle. Yeah, it's this. Exactly what I needed. But what if you push it down? I mean, it's just to go down. That's weird. 
mean, what the hell is the point of that? To create a shortcut? I mean, let's do this. Might as well re save and recover, right? Love that when they add recovery to save points. I've said it before, every single video game in existence should have recovery on the save point. If you share what you have on your video game collection, what country has the most haters on your end? I'm not sure I understand your question, man. What do you mean? So there's nothing here, right, except that shortcut. Oh, we need to... Leave that up. Okay. Oh, because of... Oh, I get it now. Because of this thing. Yomi's elixir. Tomorrow's Q&A is gonna be special. Just so you know, okay? Be there. There's a surprise. Oh, stupid ad break. Let's hear the beat rate, it's unstable. <laughs> oh, these rocks are horrible. I still don't understand your question, man. If you share a photo or a video of your collection on some site, what country has the most haters on your end? Like, is USA, Mexico or some European country has the most haters on your end? <laughs> Try to ask me... I showed a picture of my collection... from where... Will those haters come from what country? Or what country will have the most jealous people? Is that what you're trying to ask? Maybe, probably third world countries, I don't know. My collection isn't really enviable.
Grandia 3. Grandia 2 is a politically incorrect game. Got sexual innuendos and Millennia literally wants to fuck Ryudo. Literally wants to have sex with him. Sleep charm, huh? They're giving me that probably because the boss is gonna put me to sleep. Fussy not, not edible. Oh, it's for the little creature on uh, the entrance. Well, you shouldn't listen to the haters, man. I've said it many times before. The worst thing you can do with a hater is give them attention. Just ignore them. Or don't even read what they have to say. There he is. <laughs> Milena thought she thought he was a little kid was a monster. These monsters are in every Grandia game. They're a pain in the ass in Grandia 3 and they put you to sleep. I should have uh... I need to protect her. Whoa! Ten seconds. Cancel! Yeah! Don't touch Millennia, asshole. There we go, check this out. <laughs> ah, animated cutscene to the... That was great. Oh, it looks low. In low resolution, they didn't remaster those 2D animation scenes. I'm a bit disappointed. It's like Chrono Cross. Oh, come on, Ryudo. Can't you act faster? You had it right in front of you. Should I heal? Nah. I'm about to win. One more hit and the guy's dead. Damn. There we go. We're still getting that little frame rate issue, right? When he does the sword animation. We got an egg. It's a mana egg. You can equip those. Yep. That's the kind of tutorial that I like in video games. The one that is like, you got this, equip it. Yeah, you don't need to give me a tutorial, like open the menu with this button and then select this segment on the menu with that button and then equip this and then this and then you come on man, video games nowadays, they should learn from this. Like simple things like that, we can figure them out. No, no I'm not really a fan of the Saga series. I liked Romancing Saga on the PS2, which is a remake of the uh, very first Romancing Saga on the Super Famicom. That never came out of Japan. We did get the remake on PS2 called Minstrel Song. I really like that game, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, any other saga game, not really a fan, so not interested in the new one. You shouldn't be here, kid. Go home! What about you two? What are you doing? Well,. It's complicated, kid. You know, see, Milenia here wants to have sex with me, but I don't because I'm in love with Elena, and I just don't want to admit it. <laughs> well, poor you, Yum Yum. If you're looking for consolation, you're not gonna get it, man. Just don't feed the haters. Ignore them, or have fun with them, troll them back. <laughs> troll the haters, man. That's what I do sometimes. We're reading the land of pests. Really? Yeah, Roan is gonna be a party member whether we like it or not. Give me a break, we're not running a daycare, kid. Go home! 
I will not go. I am not playing around. I cannot lose that medal. It is the last thing my late mother left to me. If Milenia sounds like a 12-year-old girl, Roan is going to sound like a baby in Japanese. Because we'll have to listen to it whenever there's some uh, voice acting. It's a precious. He cannot lose it no matter what. Why it's, is it so precious to him is a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> I will absolutely positively get it back. Sure, kid. Damn, kid! Ah, oh, I'm so cute. I decided I'll take you along. Oh man, fucking Roan, man! I envy him right now. See, Yum Yum, I will be more jealous of Roan right now than of anyone's video game collection. <laughs> My name is Millennia. What's yours? I am Roan. Thank you very much, Miss Millennia. Oh, innocent. Innocent, naive motherfucker. It's a rough road ahead. He'll only be a burden on you. You are a good man after all. As weak and frail as I am, I will show you I can protect this child. We'll be fine, right? Love Millennia makes the whole game, man. Take Millennia out of this game, and it's honestly, well, it's still great because Ryudo, I mean, he's just a very unusual main character. I mean, look at him, he's an asshole. He's an edgelord. <laughs> he's a jerk. I mean, I love this guy. But these two characters made the game. The rest of the cast is just okay at best. Turn off the water, words, kid. There is a tooth fairy, all right. Like, don't we need more JRPG protagonists like this too? Like, come on, that's what makes this game so special. But then Roan. PS5 or Switch? PS5 for sure. It looks better. Better resolution, better frame rate. I mean, the Switch has the same problems, but it's just overall... The performance is 9 out of 10 times always going to be better on PlayStation 5 than on Nintendo Switch. There are exceptions though, there's been some exceptions. I think for example the remaster of uh, Trails to Trails from Zero and Trails to Asher. I think the Switch version is better, but that's a really rare case. But whatever the case, you know, get it wherever, you know. It's, uh, it's a great collection on anywhere. But I can't speak for the PC version, you know that. Mm, no. Okay, so water, earth, forest, priestly mana egg. So he will be kind of like the healer. Sure. She has the chaos egg. So Ryuto, you get the mist egg, right? Any version is fine, I think, for this HD collection. No, why am I going back to Durham Cave 1? Wait, let's just go back. Durham Cave. Can go into the water. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. Check this out. Calming Harp? The hell is that? Whoa, no. Yeah. What the hell is that? Calm restores 2 HP. Why is a harp used as a healing item? Oh, fucking snakes, man. Falling right on top of me, that's horseshit. Let's try the magic. Heal and howl. Howl's a good one, it's an area of effect attack. Pretty useful. 
Yeah, Ryuto's voice actor is fine. He's as expected. Melania is the only one that I'm like... I mean, she's just weird. There we go. I was countered. Damn it, Roan! Well, uh, actually, Roan is, is more of a mage than anything. Thank you, Frank! <laughs> That's awesome, man. He says, I always, I've always taken your work as a certain when I was younger. So thanks again and keep it, keep it up. Wow. What do, you, what do you mean when you were younger? For how long have you been watching my videos, man? I mean, that's awesome. That's a great comment, man. Thanks a bunch. Of course, Roan sounds like he's a three-year-old girl. I think I'm gonna switch back to the Japanese dub when I can. Damn frogs! Oh no. Ah, ah, ah. Guard it before you could hit me. You piece of. Alright, time to do some magic. Oh, he's just a healer. Well. Yeah. Is there anything? Blocks magic with a vacuum? That's just a deep off, I mean. Cures paralysis or poison. Let's try the golden hammer, I guess. Come on, kid! Yeah! Right before I was cancelled. Wow. That's a great one shot. You one shot the bastard. Probably heal. Oh, and the translation is you better practice before you face me, something like that, right? Give me your yeah. Um... Oh my god, those guys are there. There's a save point in there. And of course a snake is gonna fall from above. No? What is that? Stone head, well, another healing item. Oh, it's a piece of armor. Uh, I know you played Chrono Cross. If I will get the old strategy guide, will that guide help me if I want to play the Switch version? Yeah, definitely. I'll give it to someone else. Oh, it's exclusive for Ryudo. Only he can equip it. Yeah. Oh, well, Rome can equip the bandana. Yeah, I think it's gonna help you, the guide. Most likely. I mean, it's the same game, the game, the switch. Not like anything changed. Draining the water so I can go across. Three hundred gold, baby. Am I an open-minded person? That term is extremely subjective, you know. People usually give it uh, a different meaning. I mean, what... I mean, 
what an open-minded person to me means to me could mean something different to you. So what is an open-minded person to you? Wow, these guys are strong. Yes, cancel him. Yeah. <laughs> An open-minded person to me is a constructive and objective intelligent person. Okay, then we have a completely different meaning of the term. Man. Burn this bastard. Nice! Give me another golden hammer or something. Let's kill these guys. Come on, bro! Shake that hammer, man! Cancel the bastard. These guys are stupid strong. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. So I'm just gonna heal. Sleep spawn. It's gonna put Millennia to sleep. There we go. Nice! Sounds like my from Fatal Fury. Oh my god. Nah, I'm not gonna make it. Let's just attack him. Yeah, nice counter. Ten <laughs> seconds! Uh, the point of this game is to cancel the enemy. Imagine. The woke took, took inspiration from this game. Wow, she's angry now. She goes berserk every now and then and you can't control her. Wow, that's gonna do some massive damage. Nice, level up! So I'm just gonna have to train something. Power up. Roan, you need to like... Yeah, level 2. These level 3. These level 2. That's it, right? Can't train the magic. I'll prefer this game not exactly with scenery graphics, more like with... Mm. Uh, let me think. Here in case you want to cross and grind. No need to grind though.
I just don't think any human being can be completely open-minded. We're all judgmental creatures and we act and react based on our experiences in life. That's why I don't really believe in that term. A narrow-minded, close-minded, open-minded, and nobody, nobody's really like that. It's more like we are open-minded to some circumstances, some situations, some things in life, and close-minded to others. Every single human being is like that. No one is too, truly 100% close-minded or open-minded to everything. It's more about being open-minded to something. Let's go boss time. Major boss time, not some put me to sleep minions. There it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Should I equip it? Yeah, we do not need the healer put to sleep. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Let's give him everything we got. Ten seconds. awesome oh they're heading for millennia no no oh they didn't interrupt her they didn't cancel her that's oh, that's awesome there we go We got him. Now only the boss left. Oh, he's not gonna be able to get. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yeah! That's how you cancel it. Yeah, this game is a game of risks. Oh, she has no more SP. Come on, Ryu, come on, come on. Beat him to it. Yeah, this is how you cancel. This is how you play it. Now that I'm some kind of expert, the game is challenging. Grandia Extreme is the hardest of them all. And then Grandia 3, man. Yeah, I understood that you were asking about in terms of graphics, not in gameplay. Yeah, in terms of graphics, I'm not sure if I would like to see this game in the Xenoblade style of graphics. But, I don't know, it could work. Something like that. I don't know why I thought about something cell shaded like, you know, Valkyria Chronicles, Rogue Galaxy, something like that. But it's okay, it could work. Oh, he's gonna attack now. Maybe I should just spam critical attacks. Look at him. What's he gonna do? Tornado horn? Holy shit. Slow as fuck. Whoa. Oh, man. Is he confused? Ron sounds like Yuri Sakasaki of King of Fighters. Really? 
You mean the voice actress? I don't know much about Japanese voice actors. I know a lot of English. A lot of English voice actors. Not in Japanese. Nah, he's too far away. Do this. Yeah, he's confused, alright. Here's poison, awakens characters. Yeah, nothing to cure confusion. They didn't give me a single. We're not gonna use this right now. This is one of these. Grandia remaster for the PS5? What? Yep, it's on PS4 and PS5. After five long years. Oh, we poisoned the boss. That's cool. Let's keep burning the heck out of him. Ron is unresponsive right now. Yeah, I covered this game on my video from yesterday. I, I did like Fairy Fencer F, Record of Agarith War, and Blazing Souls. I never finished Blazing Souls though. That's too spring. Let's just use, keep using burn. <laughs> Rowan is back. Grandia HD is seventy dollars right now on Video Games Plus on the Switch. That's crazy, man. So that's a stupid price. Don't pay that much for it. You know what I saw yesterday? Unicorn Overlord for like 50 Canadian dollars, that's like 35 US dollars, 40 max, out of stock in minutes, I couldn't buy it. Yes, I do prefer Dead End Request, Dragon Star Varnier and Mary Skelter over, hyper, over any Hyper Dimension Neptune. Nothing wrong can do, let's just use one of those bombs. Good versus on that, let's use the, the hand grenade. Ooh, too fast. Who's he targeting? Come on! Oh man, two fucking slow assholes. Yeah, oh yeah. What a waste. I mean, Millennia was right there and she has a ranged weapon. Couldn't she have acted faster? Just burn the motherfucker. There we got him. Yeah, we more. You got an adventure book. Level up! Well, that'd be a lot of good. Might as well camp out here. We can wait until he dies of old age. <laughs> oh, thanks for the sub, Jaybird. Millennium and her sexy panties. Panties. I like her boots. They look so big and <laughs> like... Like how are... how is she wearing them? 
Serves you right to be toying with the wings of Balmer. Who was that? Who or what are you? Oops, I said that out loud, didn't I? Never mind me. I am a fan of darker video games, that's right. Though I can take a lot of light hotter hearted video games. Grandia 2 is a combination of both. There's a lot of darkness, but also a lot of light. If the E-Series have this type of gameplay, will you get it? Yes, I will, as long as it's a spin-off. I will play a turn-based RPG spin-off based on the E-Series. Forget about it now. Go get your medal! Yeah, get your medal, you little... Yeah. There it is. And if Melania could one-shot the boss like that, what? why didn't she use that power in the first place? Would have saved us a lot of healing and cancels and criticals. Hang on a second. Did she or did she not just refer to herself as the Wings of Volmer? Huh? I do not know what you're talking about. Come on, let us hurry back. I feel so bad about making everyone worry. No, no HD release of Kais of Arcadia. Stuck on the Dreamcast and GameCube. Lollipop Lane, kid. Lollipop Lane. That's so Americanized. Is there anything else we can find here? Any hidden treasure? Hidden gems? Nope. Nada. about that book? Life up. Yeah, definitely right. I mean, come on, right? He's the guy with the lowest HP. I need a thousand for that one. Let's increase Fallen Wings. I mean, it's broken. That's it for now. I have a bunch of magic coins though. <laughs> Tales of Arise had an anniversary. What, like a two-year anniversary? Come on. <laughs> Is there a difference when you say HD version and remastered version on a game? Yeah, because if it's only the HD version, there's a chance that it hasn't been exactly remastered, like 100%. You could say just the visuals, the graphics department was uh, enhanced. And I know these, they, they are, they've been calling this Grandia Collection as Grandia HD Collection. Nowhere in the title does it say remastered. But if you watch the trailer, uh, you can see they worked, they reworked several things. Like the UI, the battle interface, the controls, the loading times. So in my opinion, these are remasters. Just not like the best remasters out there. But good remasters, good, decent remasters nonetheless.
what I'm trying to say is that this is uh, this is more of a need. This is more, much more than just a simple HD upgrade. It is a remaster, in my opinion. But maybe they didn't want to call it remaster because they didn't remaster certain things. It's a more polished version, that's right. Where, where am I going? There's two exits, right? This one? No exit? Oh, there he is. Gotta play around with the camera angles all the time. Gotta walk your way back. At least the game doesn't have any random encounters. They should remaster this game as they are still making money from the original gameplay code. I don't think they're gonna do that. They could though, but each HD collections are more than enough. In my opinion, they should maybe make a remake. I mean, this game this game aged pretty damn well, in my opinion. The first Grandia, though, I'm not, I'm not sure that aged uh, as well as this one. It aged fine. Well, that's it. Get, get up there. There we go. All right, we're back. Stay my welcome and ah the accursed light of the sun it burns it burn Yeah obviously Final Fantasy VII remake is its own game in my opinion If you want remakes there are true to the original Persona 3 Star Ocean 2 Lunar Silver Star Harmony that's an old remake yeah, Final Fantasy VII remake, remake, I mean, that's pretty much something different, right? It's a good game, though. Here we go. She's too tired, so she's going to sleep for a while and change back to... Elena! It was her all along. Millennia lives inside of her and she just takes over her body whenever she feels like Miss Millennia is not really the wings of Balmer, right? Please tell me According to her, yeah No, but Valmar is the devil! The devil! Miss Millennia is so pretty and kind <laughs> More like hot and kind Elena is pretty Good morning, Ryu, though. Uh, huh? Yeah, we got a lot of explaining to do. You see this uh, succubus type of devil took over your body and wanted to have sex with Ryudo and hugged Roan and get got him into the party. And she's the wings of Balmar, she's the devil. She's freaking Satan. Yeah, no big deal, right? For a religious girl like you. you sp oh my god. She's depressed now. I mean, why wouldn't you imagine being a priestess or a priest and then someone shows up and tells you, hey, you got Satan inside of you, literally. Damn. She also said that she is the wings of Valmer. This cannot be. If you're wondering where the music went, the original versions are like this. There's a lot of scenes that are in complete silence. You can't hear shit. I remember when I first played this game, I was like, what's going on here? Did my Is my PS2 glitching or something? Why is there no music in a lot of scenes and areas?
Well, well, Sonny, you're back. Gonzola. Asshole. These assholes didn't want to go look for Roan. Huh. I see you have yourself a few women. I envy you. Why? You have a woman next to you, asshole. <laughs> exactly. Really, dear? I'd like to see this maybe after my next knife attack. <laughs> Did you know that some PS1 games, if you open the tray, they will still work? Of course, if you went past a certain area, they won't work anymore. I remember doing that with the original Resident Evil. Like, and the disc was running, I opened the tray, the disc stopped running, but the game, I mean, she could, you could move her around. That was awesome, man. Of course, if you move to the next area, I mean, the game will fuck out, but it was just funny, you know. I never understood why that happened. <laughs> Paella, she's about to burst. She's quite the character. In the last stream, she was having it, having it out with uh, Millennia, insulting each other over and over again. Freaking harpies. They executed a cat fight. The music's back, by the way. I do not think Miss Millennia is evil or anything. Anyway, we can leave through the rear gate now, unless you have some more missing jewelry. Roan. If you're going to access the baked plains, would you mind if I came along? Just me by myself is kind of lonely. Rowan acts like a girl sometimes. An anonymous gifter is gifting one to yourself, and it gave it to Nessuri. Well, thanks for the sub, Anonymous. Elena, you probably don't want him around. I must reach Granis Cathedral before long, of course. I mean, you got the devil inside of you, woman! No, I haven't played Infinity Strash <laughs> Dragon Quest. I haven't. Supposedly, it was one of the worst JRPGs of last year. I haven't played it. Imagine Paella remade, it remade in the style of, uh, what were you saying, Sinoli Chronicles? We all you want, boy, for getting rid of that monster. If you spend the night, we can have a conversation. Dinner conversations are a highlight of this game. I forgot to mention this thing in the review, but I didn't want to highlight uh, most of the flaws, maybe just one. Didn't want the top 10 to have some kind of negative connotation, so I omitted this one, but yeah, that hand above her Elena's head, and I shouldn't be trembling that like that. That's fucked up. It's a bit of a glitch.
How do you know all that, kid? You just met her. Ryu, though, always teasing her. Hold on a second, Ron. <laughs> Oh, that was Millennia. She squeezed him real tight. What? <laughs> the wings of Valmer. Oh, I remember his holiness Zira. Whoa, now, Millennia didn't do anything bad, did she? Do not say that name anymore. If you knew the horror of Valmer. I mean, Ryudo, didn't you see what happened at that time? Tower, place you visited where you saved Elena. That's the horror of Valmar. <laughs> What's exactly? <laughs> you get jealous because she hugged him? <laughs> really, that's not funny. Yeah, yeah, they're just repeating themselves. Vix sure can cook. Did Infinity's Trash get a physical release? If so, I might get it one day. Otherwise, I'm just gonna wait until the game drops to like five dollars. See if it's really that bad. Doesn't seem that bad. Where am I supposed to go now? Baked Plains? Let's go to Baked Plains. What a name, huh? What are the... The music right now. How do you bake planes? Are there any grilled planes? Sometimes he switches back to Elena, you need to re-equip her. Right now she has nothing. What are my current thoughts about Square Enix's current state? Uh, should I really answer that? Well, obviously they, they've gone completely woke. Should they continue making remakes? Yes, Chrono Trigger and or Xenogears should be left. Should be should be next. In my opinion. You know what? I think I'm gonna switch the Magic X. Single Gears, as long as it stays true to the original, don't change into an action RPG. Been saying that for three years. Oh, 
Seed of defense, huh? That's gotta be usable in the menu. Or not. Oh, there he is, yeah. We don't want her to quit the chaos egg. So I'm just gonna remove... No. Yeah, yeah. You, you can have the chaos egg. And then she'll have the... Uh, all right. Well, you know what? No. Ryudo should have the chaos egg. And Re... Roan the mystic. Yeah, it's better. See, no, here's episode 5. What do you mean, episode 5? I like this music, this theme a lot, but it kind of doesn't fit for a dungeon or an area theme. Right? It's like weird. Usually I give all buffs to Elena. I like her Japanese dub. Japanese VA. Run, kid, run! Well, I heard that Sino Saga, according to my research, and I actually made a video about that. That was the one that was going to be six episodes. It ended up, ended up being just three. Budget reasons. Oh man. Sacrifice defense for movement. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I made a video called 10 Things You Didn't Know About Sino Saga, the trilogy. That was ages ago. Enemies are resistant to wind and they're weak to lightning, huh? Ryu, though, you're up then. Do that again, sap. Sap them all, motherfuckers. Come on, Ryu, what are you waiting for? There we go. Wow. Do 
And we got more seeds. We should farm those guys for most more seeds. That's it. I don't want to fight the burnt. I'm, I'm hoping to find an item. Let's kill these guys, they give those sweet seeds. Oh, out of point. What about Stram? Lower strength. Snooze puts them to sleep. Shall we put them to sleep? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Snooze. <laughs> ah, all of them. Put to sleep quietly. Now we can abuse this. Oh, come on, Ron, seriously? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We woke them up. Ron, take care of your unfinished business right fucking now. Yeah, that was smart. Don't forget tomorrow, Q&A, 12 p.m. Central Time. It's gonna be a surprise. Actually, I might start earlier than usual, okay? Just so you know, probably an hour earlier. Eleven a.m. Central Time. I'm just gonna go back and save. So now I'm lost. Recover so I can keep spamming sap. This game is not... well... It's not really a grind fest, but... There are some bosses, you know. <laughs> There are some bosses. Yeah, those types of bosses. More seats, huh? Mentality. Let's give it to Elena. If I fight them, I'm just gonna get lost. Easy to get lost in Grandia. You have no map after all, only that freaking thing. Whoa! Let's see if these guys are winged too. How? Would you get SMT Vengeance on the Switch or PS5? I'm not gonna get it. I'm just gonna wait until it's like dirt cheap and I'll definitely get it on PS5. I don't think that game ever needed a Royal Edition or a Definitive Version or something. I mean, the game's excellent as it is. It's just Atlas likes to exploit their successful games. Uh, I'm gonna save my MP. Just do regular attacks. Okay, Roan. Yeah, they're... They aren't that resistant. Original SMT5 is already 20? Yeah, I've seen it before. I paid full price for it.
Level up. Always to Ryudo so he can be overpowered. Hey, we're, we can power up now. Or not. Oh, definitely the impact bomb. Oh, no more points. Got a lot of magic coins. They're spent in... No, wait. Just power up. Heal, no. Can I power sap? Yeah, let's do that. I learned how, and I have all magics. How about where I heal? I already have heal! Green needs more than just how. Digging, huh? Oh, that's just the buff. Uh, blocks magic with a vacuum, green power. This is just the usual magic. Increase the level of hell. Any word why Capcom gave up on the Breath of Fire series? Uh, yeah, it's a long history of that. I made a video called What the Hell Happened to Breath of Fire. Check it out, the whole story is there. It's not just one thing. But if you want the nutshell version, their last two games were a failure. Snooze. Wow, attack power. Yeah. She's gonna be the the buffer slash healer. Well, I feel like she should have some kind of like attack. But no, it's okay. She's just a healer. Let's increase burn. Sab one more. Tram. Roan. Uh, can we do one more on this? Yeah. 44 magic point, coins. How about runner, you know? And well, digging. Digging's better. Increasing defense. Well, that's it. Nothing here. Dead end. Some money. You know what I'm gonna do? This. Leveling up. Level up. Ryudo the mage. <laughs> oh man, they ambushed me. Oh man, too late. I'm not gonna use sap in this battle. Enemies all over, all over the place. Are all over the place, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I have a problem with mispronouncing certain words. It's not an English thing, you know. I'm the same way in Spanish. God. Awful counters. Hey. 
What am I playing today? I'm playing Space Invaders 8 on the Jaguar. We got hurt pretty badly. No for another dead end. No, 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 no. Thank you first. There we go. Bring it on, bitch. All right, here we go. I got a little bit sick this morning. Got some sushi, but I don't know if uh, I'll be able to eat it. Launch. Not the birds. Seed of magic. A Jaguar, huh? You know, actually, it's not such a bad console. It has some good games in there. I think all consoles have good games. So one of the, the absolute worst is the Philips CDI. Hard to find good games in there. It does have them, but yeah. For Oscar. My friend, he owns almost every single console in existence. <laughs> That's why I know so much about certain consoles. Because of him, because I play them at his house. <laughs> We've made videos about some of his consoles. I, I play the infamous uh, Zelda games on CDI. The one where you play a Zelda herself. I'm not, not the top-down view adventure game, more like the side scroller. And then there's another one with Link. Oh man, terrible fucking games. <laughs> some some games that the angry video game nerd covered. You know, even he himself admits. Even he himself admits that they're not that bad. But man, those Zelda games on the CDI, oh, wow. Wow, man. <laughs> those are pretty damn bad. Check out the animation in 480p. Pixelated. Wow! Resolution in 144p! <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's just like Chrono Cross, they did not remaster those animated cutscenes. <laughs> well, Cross didn't have any, but Cross had some 3D cutscenes, CGI, that were like, oh man, 
awesome for the PlayStation 1 era, but they didn't remaster those. Like I said, this game is a remaster, just not like one of the very best. It's a good one though, I mean look at the 3D graphics like right now, I mean... I mean, they look sharp, colorful, even the backgrounds were remastered, I mean... I'm not complaining, if it's just this little two-second CGI cutscenes or animated cutscenes... I mean, who gives a shit, right? If you want to see, like, incredible remasters, like, top-notch... Some of the best remasters ever, like Odin Sphere on PS3, 4 and Vita... That's... that's the best remaster ever, in my opinion. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition looks almost as if it was a remake. Near Replicant. Those are, are some damn near-perfect remasters. That even some people have confused them for remakes. I heard Crisis Core was really good, the remaster itself was really good, but I didn't play it. Yeah, we can camp in there. Do some camping. Dinner with a view, kids. What's your step when you go to the little girl's room? What's up with that music? Wow. Well, Star Ocean is not a remaster. Uh, Second Story Art is a full remake. They remade the entire game from scratch from zero. Fucking awesome, one of the best remakes ever. You should watch my top 10 from yesterday. Millennia loves darkness. Let's hit the sack, says Ryu though. I don't have I don't have a Star Wars in the second story art physical, only digital. I still can't believe Square Enix sent me a review code. <laughs> that was insane. How much is it right now? Like, probably still around the $60 range, right? I'll keep waiting. It's too quiet. <laughs> Finally some English dub. Oh, it's that guy, Ma Marek. Marek, Marek, I forgot his name. Wait, what do you mean some good enhancement? What happened? Um, the game was remade last year, came out in November. I mean, the game's fucking perfect already, and it got enhancements? Se 
I mean, I did see an update, you know, now that you mention, I did see an update on my PlayStation 5 a couple of days ago. I was like, Star Ocean, the Star Secret Story R has been updated, like, what happened? Oh, he's gonna cancel me. God damn it. Well, might as well try again, huh? Cancel him! An eye for an eye, asshole. We're fighting our future party member, though. This guy's an ally. Come on, cancel the bastard! Okay, so the enhancements are chaos mode. Wow, like that game needed to be harder. But there are some crazy people out there. Fight against the ten, each ten wise men. Oh, like an optional boss fight against them? Okay, new character art. What do you mean new character art? Like, oh my god. Like you got the uh, the option to, set, to switch to the older character arts. Like the originals, for example, or something. Wasn't that already... In the uh, vanilla version, I mean in the in the release. PS One release is three hundred bucks for a copy. Yeah, right now for, forget about. Every time a game gets a remake or a remaster, the original version shoots up in price like crazy. But then it comes down. It'll calm down because people will, will start preferring the uh, the remake version over the original. A lot of them. So yeah, forget about the PS One version right now. Just wait like maybe a year six months at least and it'll, it'll go back to a more reasonable price i mean that's what i've seen happen to other games before in the past i remember when near replicant came out the original ps3 version shot up to like 50 bucks 60 dollars and then it went down in price a year later you could see it for like $10, $15 in Amazon. Just in case, let's do this. The guy's hitting hard. Just abuse 10 seconds, Lash. Cancel the regular attack at least. He's got his eyes fixated on Ryuta for some reason. Oh, there we go. Lena's gonna cancel him. We do some howling. Oh, he's attacking no one but Ryu, though. Fixation!
Almost there. I wonder what's he gonna do. Let's just heal Ryudo. Just in case. <laughs> He's definitely going to hit Ryudo with Beast Fang Cut. There we go. Damn. We got him. Level up! Ryudo smells like his brother. Melfice. やつの名は。メルフィスを知ってるのか。多分な。そうか。お主の匂いにはどすぐろい死の匂いはなかったというのに。わしは我を忘れていた。メルフィスは生きてるのかメルフィスとは破滅をもたらす魔人のこと。わしの名はマレング。我が物よ。すまなかったな。リュード。破滅をもたらす魔人だ。あいつはただの人殺しじゃないか。あいつが生きてるはずが、こんなところであの悪夢に出くわすなんてどういうことなのよ。メルフィスって誰のことなの？俺の兄だ。Yeah. He's not gonna tell the story right now. Music's changed. Wasn't there a save point nearby? Oh, there it is. Have you changed time wherever you guys live? We don't do that anymore in Mexico. Our president removed it. Mark's uh, village. Lilig City. Or not. Oh, it's this fucking place. <laughs>
Daylight Savings Time? That's how you call it, right? Changed time a month ago. Okay. The beginning of March, huh? My Q&A tomorrow is gonna be one hour earlier than usual. Just wanted to let you know. Town cursed by darkness. <laughs> Classic, let's find a name. Oh, the general store, huh? Late mail might be the best one for Ryuto. Guardian Row for the other two. Really, I can't afford it. Gauntlet, huh? No charms. Can't afford anything anyway. 
let's just go. Nothing. That's the delicacy. <laughs> yeah, the delicacy. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> take it or leave it. Quite a sales pitch. How about it? Quite. Hey, Ron. What's this? I don't see any plates. They couldn't they have bothered just putting some plates in there at least, even if they looked empty. I talk to him and tell him his food sucks. I'll save again. And they're open. No, it isn't easily remedied. <laughs> There's only the delicacy. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna give him an apple. Whoa. Okay, he's gone. What an asshole. He could be deceased. <laughs> Let's go after the kid then. We're going to die. Shut up! So there's nothing to eat except that thing. How is it that they haven't noticed that a bunch of strangers just entered their, their house without permission? They're just ignoring us. I 
what is your difficulty? Like what like hard mode? Yeah, this is hard mode for the townspeople. Chaos mode. The people in this town have lost their sense of taste. Oh wow. <laughs> you gotta love the humor, man. <laughs> exactly, man. Every RPG ever, Western, Japanese, no matter where they come from, every RPG ever, people just enter other people's houses like it's nothing and steal stuff. <laughs> I wonder which was the first RPG that did that. Because obviously every, everybody followed. Probably Ultima or Wizardry. Maybe even Dragon Warrior. Town center, huh? The hell is this thing? They're eating sand and they don't care. Even turtles are suffering. Ah, they're eating the tiny insects that live in the sand. The big house. There are no treasure in anyone's houses in this game. Engineer's house, which came from there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is it. Church downstairs. Oh, my dear travelers. I am terribly sorry, but I must attend to that man over there. So will you please come back another time? Pretty sure Ultima was the first RPG that where, where characters entered someone else's house and stole stuff. Wait a second. Told you in this game, there's just no. Wow, look at the picture. It's a real person. <laughs> the photograph in there. <laughs> Probably some of the developers. I don't know. Someone. Well, that's a great church and has its own big ass space for its own. No one bothers them. No lousy neighbors. I don't want to live in a place like that. This is still the engineer's house. Let's just go back and save. Kind of lost now, ain't it? What? Got out accidentally. Go there and save.
That's the guy, look at him. He looks like a piece of shit. He is. Glutton piece of shit. Wow, look at the guy's face, I mean, wow. Doesn't even look human. I heard that you aren't letting anyone on the Skyway. I'm here to change your mind. Yes, we are not letting anyone in right now. This is a vital time for business. Carrying people drops our efficiency. I'll make it worth your while. Ah, uh, what disgusting. I did notice you had a sister with you. She must be headed to Granus Cathedral. Hmm, well, more business. How much you want? 10,000 gold pieces should cover my costs. Deal. Let's go. Ah, not so quickly, my friend. The last tram has already left. But do not fret. Another will be available come tomorrow. Can't leave today, huh? Then... <laughs> Obviously, you can still stuff yourself with food. Oh... Elena, hush! Strange thing to say, my sister. Do you imply that my health is something less than virtuous? That I shall suffer as well? Isn't that like a capitalist mentality? Right there? Twisted capitalism? Everybody's sick except him. Did he just swallow an entire steak? And this guy, man. Pigs feed more gracefully. He wants to eat Elena. Fucking disgusting human being, man.
Well, it's time for me to leave. That was Grandia 2 Part 2 on the PlayStation 5. Good game. We like it. Very recommended. But anyways, I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. And see you when I see you.